All right, welcome back to the channel. So today we got a little different uh, video for you. We're gonna do a will it run on this here generator. Um, for some reason it doesn't wanna uh, start auto and manual here. Uh, so we're gonna dig into that, see why it's not gonna start. Um, so far what we've done is we got uh, a line here temporarily hooked up that we're gonna stick into a fuel jug to get fuel up to the pump. Um, and we got a battery installed. Cause I can get it to turn over with this button here, which I need to get onto here. See, it'll turn over with that, but it won't turn over with the, Turn over with that, but it won't turn over with the actual switch that it's supposed to. So uh, let's dive into that and see why it's not doing that. All right, so this right here is the starting solenoid. So I'm going to see where these wires go that turn this on. I'm assuming they go up to there, but I want to make sure that I actually have 12 volts here, which I should. And then I will diagnose and find them in there and see what's going on. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so I got 12 volts here. So that's good. And that's tied into these two wires here that go up this pipe. Yep. They go into the uh, cabinet. So let's go over to the cabinet and try and find where that 12 volts is. All right. Let's see where that 12 volts goes. Got to find a ground here. Oh, there's one. All right, ground. Start poking away. Nope. 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 Aha. Oh. I think I found it. <sighs> There's a fuse right here. Well. Why is that so loose? Oh, <laughs> there is no fuse here. All right, well, let's do the right thing and uh, just bypass it. We'll find a fuse later for it. Uh, for now, let's just see if that's gonna fix it and get this thing at least starting to turn over and then we'll diagnose, see if it's actually gonna start. So I made up a, just a jumper lead here. I'll go ahead and uh, get this bypassed. All right, let's see if that fixed it. So theoretically, I should be able to do this on either one. Hey, look at that. Did it just? Uh, I'm not gonna run it too much longer. I think I just uh, pulled all the fuel that was in it out of it. All right, let's go get a fuel jug and uh, see if this thing will fire off.
All right, we're going to see if we can uh, get some fuel up into this uh, fuel filter here. I got my jug here, so I'll get a, a wrench, pop that off, see if we can get some flowing up. didn't take long. I think I want to crack this one off though and see if we got it coming out of this. Oh, I need to get, I need to get this drain line in the tank too. The return line, I should say, if I can. Let me see if I can find a small uh, jug to catch that stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can even see in there, but it's coming out. So that's good. Yeah, because when this thing lights off, it is going to be so freaking loud. I'm gonna treat. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find some uh, earplugs real quick. All right, I couldn't find any earplugs, so we're just gonna go for it. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. I'm hoping that this is the shutoff. I think that's the shutoff. That's good. Okay. Kind of nervous at how loud this thing's gonna be. It runs. I'll wait till my dad and my brother get here to test it, test all the voltage and stuff. I want someone here in case something goes wrong, but it runs. It runs.
So a little backstory on this generator. Uh, my dad picked it up from his work. Um, it was one of the old generators that uh, ran the chicken coops. Uh, he picked it up for like a couple hundred bucks. So uh, basically what we're going to do is just flip it. Because um, we don't need a, we don't have a use for it. It's too big for us. It's three phase. Um, let's see. It's three three phase 110 kilowatt way too big for for anything we'd need here uh so yeah we're gonna turn around and flip it make a few extra bucks and uh yeah but it runs it's awesome awesome so All right, well, it's back in the garage here. We put it outside just to run it so it didn't smoke up the garage. Uh, but yeah, it runs great. Uh, it came up to temperature. Um, it's down now because it's been a minute. Um, we fixed this before it wasn't reading anything because um, this white wire here wasn't connected. So it actually shut down on a fault because it wasn't sensing any voltage off the alternator. So we put that back on, ran it for probably 20 minutes and didn't shut off. Um, had really good oil pressure. So yeah, this thing's ready to go. Um, I tested the, uh, the outputs on the generator. We got 208 three phase um, and it read it on here also. So yeah, we're good to go. So yeah, if you like this video and like what we do here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.